Hey everybody, what's going on? Thank you for stopping back into Darren's Northern Life. If you are new here, I've never been on my channel before, please consider subscribing and smash that little notification bell. So today I'm going to take you through a hunt that I was just able to go on. Um, I was not able to get footage of every little bit of the hunt because I'm actually, I'm on the job. I'm working as a wrangler a slash guide in training for hunting in the Yukon, for sheep hunting in particular. So um, I did get permission from the hunter Steve, as well as from the guide Mac to do a little bit of filming. They're both okay with it, so I was like, yes sir, let's do this. So I'm gonna start rolling the footage here and I will give a little bit of explanation as it happens. So on August 22nd, we decided to leave base camp where I'm sitting right now. It's just back and behind out of the shot here. Um, we packed up one horse with pack boxes, saddled up three horses and brought a spare. So we brought five horses and we rode, I believe it was approximately three hours. I don't know how far it was. I don't know, up a big long mountain pass, crossed the river a bunch of times. And uh, we actually saw sheep on the way up there, but that's not where we wanted to go. So we just kept going, made a small camp in the willows. And then uh, we actually got on the horses, rode back maybe half a mile or so a little ways up the mountain, tied up the horses, and then hiked up. Now, I don't know exactly how far we hiked, probably probably 1,500 feet, maybe a little bit more. And it was basically just a rock face, just tumble rock. Um, definitely not the funnest hike, but actually, it was pretty awesome to get up to the top. Um, we got up to the top, did a bunch of glassing, and uh, Mac ended up seeing a band of 20 rams way far off to the south. I bet you they were probably a mile and a half to the south. Um, he had seen them the day before when him and Steve were out glassing in a basin, which, which is where we basically hiked up into. So we decided to make a play. We're going to try and get over to them, get up on a knob and shoot it from up top. Um, we just couldn't get a shot on them from up top, even though we were within 200 meters. So we cut back down, cut down to lower ground and laid in the willows and waited until they started feeding our way. Um, we saw at least six, I believe it was five or six, um, full curl legal rams. Now, some of them may not have had it on, on the age. We want to shoot an eight-year-old ram, at least. Um, but anyways, we saw a really beautiful ram that actually came out past the eyes um, at about 300 yards. So, uh, Mac and Steve, they both agreed that was a great ram to shoot. So at that time, it was just a waiting game to make sure they get a good shot. Um, he did end up walking a little far, farther off. I think it was 340 yards. Steve decided to take the shot, and uh, you'll see the footage from here. What's he doing now? He's got his head down, just still in the willows, facing downhill. He just kind of faced towards us a bit, eh? Oh. No, he's got his head the other way. He's got his ass towards us now. Yeah. Where are you going to aim? Just behind the front shoulder. Yeah. Kind of right in the middle of him, eh? Like center, up and down? Yes. Inver vertically in the center of the body. Right there. If you got a good clean shot. Oh, oh. fucking dirty. <laughs> yeah, just wait until he's good and straight. Oh, he's he's not, no. Yeah, if 
he got a good shot, he's in a pretty good spot there. Guys, leg up. Yeah, he's good. Go in there. That one looked better, but just reload. And we'll tell you when. He goes back towards us right now. Yeah, but just just wait. He's not feeling so good. Just wait. Just wait. He's gonna topple over. I think. Yep. There you done. I think that second shot was good. Yeah. You know, Fort St. John fucking can't shoot standing still, but. <laughs> I fuck those my nerves. I. Yeah, both those ramps to the left are legal full curl ramps. You see them. Mm -hmm. Here, take her out of the tomb. Yeah, you got a good ram, buddy. Do that. <laughs> There you go. Right? That's awesome. Right? That's yeah. awesome. That's hey? fucking awesome. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Man, we're lucky we got it before that weather came too. Holy shit. Wow. Oh, fuck, I'm starting to psych myself out. I'm like, what's up? Fuck. I'm like, I can't. There he is, right? He was holding himself there. there. That's why I couldn't shoot. Pretty flippin' cool. First sheep I've ever seen killed. We're gonna go get him. This is Steve's first ram. Pretty flipping beautiful. What do you got to say, Steve? Uh, this is just amazing that uh, this all came together. Uh, more than I uh, can't even, words can't even describe how great this feels right now. This is awesome. That's awesome. Well, congrats, dude. As you can see, it took two shots, but he did get him down and. Uh, it was pretty awesome to see him with his first ram. This is also my first sheep hunt that I've ever gone on. Um, I'm hoping to go on many more, fingers crossed. But uh, I have another sheep hunt coming up next week and I do not know if I'll be able to do any filming or not. Hopefully if I do, I will have better camera. Um, I only have my iPhone along this time, so. Some of the footage is a little bit shaky, not that great, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, appreciate you guys stopping by and watching the video. Once again, if you're not subscribed, consider doing so, and there will be more videos coming up very, very soon. Thanks for watching.